Jay White, Content Director of Four Wheeler Network and Trip Leader for the Ultimate Adventure. Every year, Peterson Four Wheel and Off Road invites 4x4 enthusiasts from all over the country. They converge on an undisclosed location for a week of adventure, searching out the best off road trails across America. The Ultimate Adventure is a week long trip that tests drivers and vehicles in a variety of off road terrain, as well as long road days. Four-wheel and off-road editor-in-chief Fred Williams is wheeling this year's project truck. It's a 46 Jeep CJ28, dubbed the Ultimate Summer Camp Jeep. The Jeep build is made possible due to the sponsors and suppliers, some of who will even join us on the trip. This year's adventure is themed the Ultimate Summer Camp. It includes 22 rigs equipped with canoes, camping gear, tools, spare parts, whatever supplies are needed to endure the elements and survive the week. Covering more than 1,200 miles in eight days, traversing highways, back roads, water crossings in seven states, Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, North and South Carolina, Alabama, and Georgia, all exploring extreme off-road trails. Driving a tank! But we might not go in that order. Nobody but me knows where we're going or what to expect. That's what makes it an adventure. Seven lucky readers were recruited and their wheeling skills and rigs were put to the test. Jeff Corwin and Chris Breidenbach from Colorado in a 98 Range Rover. A 46 Chevy truck of Bill Costa with Derek Williams from Vermont. Jack Sloan and Jerry Cummins from West Virginia in a 93 Ford Explorer. A 69 Toyota Land Cruiser driven by Bill Pasiak with co-driver Chris Larson from Nevada. Driver Justin Cardwell and Joe Poisel in a 94 Suzuki Sidekick from Oregon. From Florida, Robert Keller and Jerry McNeil wheeling a full-size 89 GMC V3500. And returning reader Brennan Metcalf and his 42 Willys MB, along with Matt Bokan from Colorado. The first day consists of finally making it to the start, which is often hundreds of miles from each rig's starting point. Here we do the check in and the tech inspection. Now, this year the torrential rain really slowed us down, but it sure didn't dampen our spirits any. The meet and greet in the parking lot gives everyone a chance to check out each other's rigs. They also compare notes on what the trip will be like and why in the world we brought canoes. Old and new participants also get to sticker up their rigs. 2,500 miles in two and a half days. Made it. Every ultimate adventure starts the same way. All right, drivers need it. Everybody get ready. Okay, everybody, we are at the Ultimate Adventure 2015. We're in St. Clairsville, Ohio. Fred's still working on this with Vern. Fred, Vern, hey! This is our Ultimate Adventure vehicle. Did everybody bring their canoes? Yes. Who doesn't have a canoe? Okay, fine, I don't have my own Jeep this year, but I did get a stand-in. Kenny over here brought that, and he offered this year to use his CJ10 for me to drive. And I said, well, why not? I don't have a vehicle, let's do it. So let's hear it for him. Thank you. Yay. Who has not been tech inspected? Awesome, extreme high lift. Perfect. Next on our list is the cage. Cage, cage, cage. Rick, this is my cage. Holy cow, it's an external cage. What about some rear toe hooks? Uh, I have the recovery hooks here. Well, it is a first aid kit. All right, we do all of this, so in case we are stopped, we know uh, that we're okay. Fire extinguisher. Last thing I need on the vehicle is your spill and pet kit. Last things I need are your driver's license. Still good. Yep. Ultimate Adventure is not just a road trip or an off-road trip. It's a combination of the two. And even to get here, we have guys from Florida, Maine, all the way down in California up to Washington. They all came here to Ohio to do some of the toughest trails around. We make it like an adventure. None of these guys know where we're going, just me. 
They follow, we do the trails. That's 50 people, 25 rigs, wheeling the best trails we can find and still making it all together as a group. It's not a competition, it's not a race. It's a matter of getting to the end. That's why one of our mottos is wheel for the week, not for the day. You break the first day, you're out because there are no trailers on this trip. You fix it and you catch up. You don't trailer it, we don't go to fancy hotels. We actually sleep out in the open like camping is supposed to be. This Jeep is completely stuck. There's, not, there's nothing, this is just the way. It's factory. It's factory, 1947 Jeep, Jeep hood. With our rigs all buttoned up, we settled in for our last good night of dry sleep. Tomorrow will be the first trail day, in the rain. Driver's meeting! Good morning, everybody. Everybody ready to go? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Yep. All right, 8 o'clock, we roll out of here. Line up behind my vehicle. CB Channel 10, you won't be back until tonight. Call your wives and girlfriends, tell them goodbye. It'll be a long trip. Hi, Bob. All right, driver's meeting. You know, Powerline Park is, is known for many things, actually, but what's one of them? Mud. Mud, yeah. Yeah, I didn't bring my mud boots because I like the squish of that in between the toes. Yeah, I'm Troy Ayers. We're here at uh, St. Clairsville, Ohio at Powerline Park. We get some uh, hills, lots of mud, lots of mud here. As you can see, the, we have a lot of rainy conditions this week. I'm going to take the Ultimate Inventor out on the trail today and try to show them what we got here at uh, Powerline Park. So I'd like to invite you all here. Hang on for some good trails. You know, I was just realizing with the rover here, uh, I should probably have something larger than Hardy in front of me to pull me out when I'm stuck. Powerline Park is located just outside of St. Clairsville, Ohio. It has about a thousand acres to play on with miles of trails. The park features hill climbs, mud bogs, water crossings, tight tree trails, and more. All the rain from the past week will make today even more fun and muddy. close. That one little tree on the right grabbed the bumper or the tire. I couldn't tell which. I almost had it. Traction is going back and forth. So darn close. Now I want to see who's going to make it up behind me. That was a great hill. Andrew Hoyt from Falcon Tire tries it next in his 09 Rubicon. Yeah. Tell us what's going on. Yeah, we got a our trail that we had here. Well, I cut it up to the left a little bit. We switched it up, and uh, it made it a little difficult for a couple people like Rick right here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah. we got a bunch of us that have made it so far, and we we got the rest of our group here going to try it, and we're going to see how it goes here. Yeah. In fact, let's let them go. Ready? Let's go. Hey, this way. Let's go this way. Yeah. You kind of missed the trail, but you made the hill. <laughs> well, so so what was that all about? That was the turn the steering wheel and it didn't turn the truck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's great. On each of our obstacles, we only try it three times. That's not because you can't make it, it's because there's enough people behind you. We want to get through here by the end of the day. You need more horsepower. That was awesome. The worst part was I got a branch right in my eyeball. That's why I brought a spare. Yeah. 
Old crony Trent McGee tries out his beat down blazer on the hill. Sometimes we even suspend the three try rule if it's entertaining. Well, it was factory fresh up until today. I've done some custom modifying here. You know, you can only do this these modifications in the woods. You know, no no trained body shop could handle beauty of this nature. Sam Gillis plays tail gutter for the trip in his green two buggy, and he easily makes it up the hill. Reader Jack Sloan blew a hub on the hill and quickly swapped it out in the rain. Oh, the hub started popping and it broke, and uh, it's raining, and it's, uh, it's a good time, having fun. We got this little pushed in spot right here. I'm just gonna push that back out. Yeah, off-road design does the, only the finest body work. Yeah, we just uh, come through some mud holes here, what we call the circle track here at Powerline Park. We're gonna let's get back into some tight and technical spots down in here. We're gonna go through a place what we call Dead Deer Hollow. We just got a little ravine here in Dead Deer Hollow. And it's a little bit uh, slippery here. Having some difficulty. It's definitely muddy here. We're here with Rick Payway at the bottom of a very big hill in the muddy rain. Rick Payway, what can you tell us about this very big hill in the muddy rain? It's a very big hill and it's a lot of muddy rain. That's it from Rick Payway in a very big hill in a muddy rain. the day. I might have been able to make it. It's not worth it. We're going to go down. We'll get more hills like this. This is not a problem. We'll go down here and have more fun. Oh, we got Rick stuck here in a little bit of our mud and we're uh, about to winch him out here. I'm uh, going to see what we can do here about getting the rest of them through it. See if it's just him. So we found some deep mud at Powerline Park. The deeper stuff is on the left. Obviously, I already got stuck here, and it's not the tire's fault or the Jeep's fault. It's just deep. So what we have is our worn winch hooked up to a tree, safety strap. We'll get out of here. It'll be about five minutes. I think that some of these vehicles are going to make it through. If not, we're just going to have a winch vest all day long. Skinny pedal down. That was awesome. Tim Hardy rarely spins his tires, even in the mud. I'm gonna get one. 
The old cronies kept busy using the voodoo rope to pull out all the stuck rigs. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Absolutely. Uh, best, yeah. best day of our lives. out of our tires in the field, we aired up and loaded the canoes for the short drive back. Day one was pretty big in my book because we're still here without any breaks. It was amazing, man. We had a great time. The war jeep did great. The rest of the team did great. It was slick, rainy. We used the video road to get out a couple times. Bulk of tires did great. Good, good mix of uh, mud and hill climbs and some water. Didn't break anything that we know of yet. We're gonna get this thing cleaned up, see what's in store for us tomorrow. After today, nope, I still don't like mud. Today went well. Today was a uh, more of a mud day, but for the first day it went great. All the guys seemed to loosen up. It's a good warm up for the week ahead. All right, thanks well, again. You guys are welcome back anytime. We will come back. Okay, man. See you guys. See ya. See ya. After some deep cleaning of the rigs, we started fixing the day's carnage and then prepped for a long road trip in the morning. <laughs> 